before I share my screen, I just wanted to share a little bit about myself. Not a lot, uh, but I do want to tell you a little bit about me and, and because most of the people in this group do not know who I am. And my name is Jeannie Asante. I hail from the Staten Island market. I'm really excited that not only can I be global in every business that I have, and I'm going to go into that in about a second, but I love the idea that we can reach out to people much easier now than we were in the past. You know, it was always drink, get in the car, drive an hour, sit with them, rush around, think about the next meeting that you're going to. And now it's just all about getting on Zoom. So I'm really thrilled that this platform is taking off in the direction that it's taken off. And some people, a lot of people are actually using it, not just to their benefit uh, in business, but also personal. You're having birthday parties on there. You're having, you know, uh, anniversaries. You're having uh, Friday night wine you know, parties and all this kind of stuff. That one I particularly love. But most importantly, I think it's important that we get the chance to not just, you know, um, get to know people, but you get to know people a little bit more because I think that when someone is sitting in their own home or in their own comfort zone, they become more comfortable talking to the people that they're talking to rather than being in a strange place. At least that's my take on it. So I pretty much love the Zoom platform. And I just wanted to put that out there. So I'm ready to talk to anybody on Zoom and to sit with you guys and just, you know, talk about whatever. It could be business, it could be personal, whatever it is that you feel is important to you. So let's put that out there. But, you know, I do have a portfolio of companies. And the reason that I'm bringing that out is because I was told many years ago, never put all my eggs in one basket, right? So I'm just, putting that out there to let you guys know that I'm not just a person that flies around from one business to the other. I'm not a person that's a fly by night that doesn't take her businesses seriously. I take every single one of them as serious as I would take anything else that I would do in my life. But I do know that I like to keep myself busy and I like to keep going. And to me, being a multiple business owner just makes more sense in my life. And so I'm thrilled to put that out there. I do have three amazing boys uh, men, actually, they're, they're, they're men and having their own children now, which is really made very exciting. And, you know, they're very productive children, which I'm, you know, kind of proud of that they're, I've been a single parent my whole life. So I've always been that person that was, you know, it was, it was up to me, it was up to me and it was up to me. Right. So that's what kind of made me who I am and molded me into what I am. And sometimes I sit there and more times than none. And I'll say, well, I'm kind of like a bull in a china cabinet, right? I run into a room. I just kind of like doo, 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 do what I got to do. And then, you know, I run out and I leave my mark. And I found that that was cute when I was young, right? That it was adorable when I was young, but not so much anymore, right? <laughs> now people look at me and they're like, look at that crazy lady running in the room or running into a Zoom, doing what she wanted to do. And then just running out like a crazy person. And okay, what did she really do? You know, so but today, I really just want to talk about identity theft protection. And the reason that I want to talk about identity theft protection is because of the question that I put out earlier during my 45-second presentation. You know, a lot of people are hearing about how people are getting uh, uh, compromised, how they're getting hacked into, how it's just really insane that we don't even know that it's happening unless we go looking for it, right? So it's not like any other kind of insurance. It's not like car insurance. You know you got hit. You know you got to call your agent, right? You know, not like medical insurance. You got sick, okay? You got to call your medical insurance and let them know that you need some medical care, right? It's not like a death benefit. Somebody passed away, and you know you need to call them to be able to let them know so that the benefits can be paid out. This is more like, oh my God, I got hit blindsided, big time, right across the top of my head with a sledgehammer, because somebody just decided to take my identity or take my loved one's identity and just either use or misuse it. And I don't know about you guys, but that unrattles me a little bit. It just really rattles me just a bit. And I'll tell you why. I'm always connected to the internet. Always. 24-7. Even when I'm sleeping, I don't turn my devices off. Who here can join me on that? So there's always somebody, right? There's always somebody searching you and looking for you and, and just kind of just trying to find out what they can do. And I don't know if you guys understand how you know, not just important this kind of insurance is for you, but how important it is to protect your loved ones along with it. So I'm just going to give you a couple of quick stories, and then I'm going to show you what the program is all about. Fair enough? Great. Here we go. So the first thing I want to tell you about is a story about a young lady who had a roommate. Oh, she was, oh gosh, she was so, you know, carefree with her information because it was her apartment, right? How many times do we leave our license or our wallet sitting on the kitchen table? 
right? If somebody comes into the house, it's one of the things I always told my children, whoever you bring home, just make sure that you trust this person because sometimes there's going to be things out that we don't want this person to say, right? Not necessarily bad, but we don't want to leave our information out. But so important that she did the same, it was so important to know that she did the same thing. She just left her stuff around the house because it was her home. She was very comfortable. Come years and years later, police officers came knocking on her door on a Friday afternoon after she came home from work to arrest her for things that this other girl had done in her name and made a whole new life with her social, her date of birth, everything. Now she did end up going to jail for the weekend, very, un very unnerving, I would say, right? That she sat in a jail cell for a weekend because they picked her up on a Friday afternoon. And I don't know about you guys, but years ago they used to do that, right? They used to pick you up on a Friday afternoon and you knew you couldn't get to an attorney or to a judge until Monday morning. That was just a whole you know, street joke that went around. But she really got picked up on a Friday afternoon. She spent the weekend in jail. And then she had a, you know, instead of proving that she didn't do something, or that she was, that instead of saying that she was innocent and she, you know, they had to prove her guilty, she was already guilty and she had to prove innocence. So she had to run around, get an attorney that nobody knew what kind of attorney even to get. What was it, a criminal? Was it a tax attorney? What kind of attorney do you need for this? Nobody knew at the time. And so she had to run around and find an attorney that can help her through this. And so much money later, she ended up getting her identity back. And this other woman ended up getting caught. I can't tell you the years and the energy that it put into that, not to mention it drains her bank account. And that's one story. Uh, you know, there's another story where just more recently, uh, there was a gentleman that, you know, decided to sign up for identity theft protection. And he, you know, put all his information in and all of a sudden he got a whole bunch of crazy alerts of things that have been going on in his life that he had no idea was going on. And he didn't know what to do with this information. You know, and, and, you know, once it happens, it's really a challenge to bring it back. Did anybody, you know, gain weight, right? So easy to gain it. How hard was it to get rid of it? It's kind of like the same concept, right? It's easy for them to get your information. It's hard for you to get it back. And so, so, so interesting how this particular guy decided that he wanted to make sure that his parents were also um, protected. And so when they did that, they, you know, they were getting ready to transition into a um, assistant living home. And they found that when they wanted to transfer the home over to the children, that they did not own the home free and clear like they thought they did someone had put mortgage on their home and someone took that money and all the notes and the letters and everything were going to an alternative address. Now, until they decided to go through this transition and be able to and get ID seal and check out everything and make sure everything was in order, they had no idea because who's checking? Their house is paid for. They were paying their taxes on time. They were paying their insurance on time. They paid their water bill on time. So nobody was really looking to see what was going on. In the meantime, there was a huge loan put on this home so they no longer own it. Now they're right now going through the challenge of trying to figure out what, where, when, how to fix all this mess because it is a big mess, right? So obviously he got identity theft protection to make sure that nothing else happens to his parents. And here's the big one, guys. How many of us know someone who has children or have children or they're on their under 18? almost everyone on this call, right? Now, when the child is born, they get a date of birth, a name, a social security number, and they have an address. All these things are put into the hospital computer. Now, the main word there is computer. That computer system can be hacked in by anyone. Now, it's not the hospital's fault that someone got that information. It's just that the hackers are that good. You know, we perfected our craft, they're perfecting theirs. And the more that we block them, the more that they perfect, perfect, and the more that they infiltrate. And we wanna make sure that that doesn't happen in our lives. But let's go back to the children for a minute. I know for my children alone that I never checked their social or whatever was going on in their lives until they were ready to go to college. I would say 16 or 17 is when I checked. So there was 16 to 17 years that someone could have taken their identity and misused it. Now, luckily, it didn't happen to my children, but it did happen to a friend of mine. 
So she went to the dealership. She was getting her son a car because she wanted to give him a car a year before he started going to college so that she would feel comfortable that he was driving around, right? And he would feel a little more comfortable as well. And while she was sitting there, she said, oh, great idea. Let me put his name on the car because we could start building a credit for this young man who's going to be an adult soon. And so they decided to put his name on the, on the car. They gave the car dealership all the information that they needed. And guess what? It came back that he already owned three houses and two cars at the young age of 16. Nobody knew that that happened. Now, this happened to have been a personal friend of mine and it happened many years ago before identity theft was even anything that people would think about, right? If it didn't happen to you, you didn't think about it, right? But I wanna to say to you that it took her over $50,000 to straighten this mess out. He missed out on a year and a half to almost two years of college because they couldn't even get a loan with his name on it to bring him to college and the parents didn't have that kind of money to pay for college and pay for the attorney to fix the mess that, that he got, you know, that he was presented with, which wasn't his fault, obviously. But yet in the same token, you're talking years and years later, like even more than a decade here, that every so often when he does something large, when he decides to refinance his house, when he decides that he's gonna buy a car, or he decides he's gonna do some sort of major money move, this pops up. He's gotta dig out that paperwork, He's got to update that paperwork and he's got to prove himself again that it wasn't him. So this is going to follow him for a very long time. Nobody ever really thinks about that. But here's something that's really interesting. Did anybody here ever change their address and move? Get an address change? You go to the post office. Do you know where they sent the verification of your address change? To your new home. They don't send it to your old home. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think they sent both addresses because it just happened to me. Well, maybe they just changed it. But yeah. until recently, they were sending it just to your new home. So people who have had identity theft uh, um, compromises on either credit or whatever, they would take the, the address and send all the stuff to the new home. Now, they didn't forward because you can't forward credit card information. They don't allow that forwarding, right? So you never knew what was happening because still your credit card statements, your bank statements, all that stuff was still coming to your regular home because those you have to actually change with the institution. But if they opened a new credit card or they opened up a new loan under the new address, that's where everything is going to go and you would never know. And that's how my girlfriend's son ended up being compromised so badly because everything was going to the other address. So they had no idea it was happening. So guys, you know, I, I can't imagine not wanting to be the hero in my family and friends' life and letting them know that having identity theft protection is something that they need to really just hone into and check out, you know, whether it's for them or not, like health insurance and everything else is always an option, but it's something that you want to know about at least, right? You want to know what your options are at least. That's always the smart thing to have all the information and make a decision on all the information when you agree, right? So this is what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna share my screen really quickly. And I'm just gonna go through, I'm sorry, give me one second. Now it didn't come up when I shared my screen. Let me, just, let me stop, stop the sharing and do it again. So I'm just going to go real, uh, go through it really quickly, just to give you an idea of what identity theft, you know, what, how does it work? How does protection work? You know, a lot of us hear about it, but we don't know how it works. We don't know what it's actually doing for us. So this particular company, uh, ID Seal, seal your ID so nothing ever gets stolen, right? Uh, and and give them nothing to seal, get ID Seal. What I loved about this particular company is there's no incremental packaging. There is no, oh my God, you're not going to call me up and say A, B, and C happened and I'm going to go like this. You weren't covered for that in your package. You're either covered or you're not. There's no in-between with this particular company, which is why I was so attracted to it. Now, of course, you just get enrolled. It's really simple. It's nothing really crazy. You get a link, you go on it, you get enrolled, just like anything else we do right now on the computer. But here's what you're going to get right away. You're going to get monitoring and alerting right away. So what is going on with your personal information? You're going to get a wide range of potential, uh, potential 
potential threats to your identity is going to be revealed to you uh, right away. Uh, they're going to be able to detect if anything is happening in your identity right off the chart, which is really great. And like I said before, somebody signed up and he was getting alerts like this. And he was just wondering what has been going on my whole life that I haven't been paying attention to. And so he was really thrilled that he got this. And, you know, you want to make sure that you're not compromise. Uh, this is a U.S.-based uh, fraud uh, solution center, which means that they're there 24-7 for you to make sure that you are uh, able to resolve any kind of issues that may come up. And the reimbursement was one of the other things that really attracted me to this. There's a zero deductible and a $1 million uh, reimbursement. What does that mean? Well, my girlfriend had paid over $50,000 for attorneys, and therefore she couldn't afford to do many things that she wanted to do in life. If she had identity theft protection or if it was available to her at the time, that she would have had, she wouldn't have had to take that money out of her bank account. The company, because they're taking responsibility that that happened, would have paid that bill. So that's big, I think. I know, actually. So what are you covered for? Well, you're covered for your three borough of uh, euros, uh, all three. You get monitored and you get scores a couple of times a year, not just once. So if something should happen in incremental in between, you're going to know about it. Uh, of course, you have identity theft insurance. They check uh, court and criminal records. So, you know, this girl, you know, they were looking for her for the longest time. If she had had this, they would have been checking her uh, court and criminal records. It would have popped up that, oh, God, they have a warrant out for your arrest. Uh, you know, be careful. Somebody's coming to your door to come get you eventually, right? Uh, social media mo uh, media marketing, uh, monitoring, very important because, the, you know, people are just like hacking the Facebooks and trying to get into your accounts online and trying to get into your LinkedIn. They're trying to break into these areas and you want to make sure that, you know, it's safe and secure, not just for you, but for everyone on your platform as well. And that includes your family, friends, and your customers. The dark web monitoring, I don't know if you guys are aware, but every year, Las Vegas has a dark web seminar on how to break in to the dark web. Now, I've never gone, but I hear it's very entailed and very detailed, and they just teach you how to get in there. And that's that's a little scary. Social security number trace, you know, they're always checking to make sure no one's trying to use your social bank account takeover monitoring. You know, I had money being moved from one of my accounts to another, uh, and it was really devastating to me a little bit, but IDCL ended up, you know, not only uncovering it, but alerting me. So I was able to make sure that I changed the accounts immediately and nothing major happened. But let me tell you what, I have a, a solar company and that means that I funnel a lot of money through my accounts on the solar world. And now and none of that money, well, most of that money is not mine. It's for equipment or for permitting. And if that money had disappeared somewhere, I would have been in a lot of trouble. I would have been in financial ruin. And that to me was huge that I was able to have that on my back uh, or, or watching them, having them watch my back. Uh, and then real-time authorization. Now this one, this is a personal one for me just recently because I went to go get a car and I said to the guy, listen, whatever you do, don't, don't do a credit check on me. Don't do anything. Uh, I, 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 when I'm ready to buy and the numbers look good, I promise you, I'm not gonna waste your time. My credit is good. This is the number that you're going to find. And, you know, we're going to be okay, but I really don't want anything checked. I don't want my credit touched until I'm ready to make the purchase, which I thought was a very fair uh, uh, ask of the, of the salesperson. So, you know, that they can actually take your name and your address and just do a simple check to make sure that you are credit worthy. They might not get a credit score, but they're going to know that you're credit worthy and that you're a customer they're going to want to deal with. So as I'm sitting there, he goes into the back to speak to the manager, as they often do, to give you a, um, you know, that preliminary pricing that they do. And as he was doing that, I get an alert on my phone for my identity theft that my that I'm being checked. When the guy came out, I said to him, when he came out with the numbers, I said to him, you know, I, I thought I asked you, please, not to check my credit. I don't like my credit, you know, played with until I'm ready to do whatever transaction is going on in any which way. And, you know, I worked really hard to get it to where it is, right? And he said to me, I didn't. And I looked at him and I said, well, my ID protection alert says different because not only does it say my credit was checked, but it was said it was checked by your company. So, you know, needless to say, it showed me a couple of things. One, it showed me that this company is working, which excited me because I said, oh my God, this is really great. But two, it showed me I didn't want to do business with that particular company because their word right away didn't mean anything. 
So to me, that was important to have real time notification. You know, IDC also, you know, gives you an app that you put on your phone or any device that you want so you can have easy access to everything that's going on. Lost wallet protection, really important that you're not worried about, you know, your stuff being replaced. Because, you know, when you lose your wallet, your ID and everything is in there, right? What do you need to get everything back? Your ID and everything that was in there. I can't tell you what it's like to get your stuff back from when you lose your wallet. It's just insane. I know someone who just went through that. And of course, you have 24 seven support, which is really the most amazing thing. I love I love the idea that you can just pick up the phone 24 hours a day, no matter what's going on in your life. And you're able to have this fixed. But there's just one last thing that I want to bring up before I call it a close or start taking any questions. And the one last thing that I want to bring up is I'm a, you know, a lot of us know a lot of children that have been bullied. And we know that the statistics are really crazy. Mostly that if you have a child that is being um, uh, bullied, 98% of those children will not report being bullied. They won't. They just don't. And, and, and it's terrible because it's leading into, you know, how they become adults, how they react to things later on in life. It's leading in, in the suicide rate as well for young children. And so we want to be able to protect them. And so what this company has taken on is they're taken on where they're watching your child, grandchild, niece, nephew, whoever it is that you put on your uh, account, their social media and certain words will trigger whether they're being bullied or not online. And so what they'll do is they'll alert you and let you know that these words are being used on their social media. You may want to check into what's going on in your child's life. This is not something we ever had before. And I don't know about you guys, but I take the responsibility of our children to the heart because they are the future of our country. They are the future of our world. And I want our future to be safe for them. And if we can't help them be safe or make them feel safe, who will? Right? So guys, with that being said, any questions? I was, I was gonna say, we're at the nine o'clock hour. So again, if anyone has to jump oh, the meeting or anything, feel free and we'll stay on as long as we need to. Okay, thanks everybody. Go ahead, Jeannie. Or whoever's gonna ask Jeannie a question, go ahead. I have a question. So what are the prices? For all oh, okay, great. So I want to tell you that, you know, for a monthly fee, and I'm thank you so much for bringing that up. I totally forgot to pull that page up. Uh, it's it's $28.99 a month. Or you could do it quarterly and you'll save a month a year. Or if you do it yearly, you get two months free. Thank you. So it can be as little, and it's, I know it sounds a little bit like a sales pitch, but it, it is what it is. It can be as little as 75 cents a day, which is like four dollars less than a cup of coffee. <laughs> if you go to Starbucks, it's like what five twenty-five for a small coffee. Personally, I don't even like. But we're not going to get into that. So that's a little subject. But but if you think about it, seventy-five cents a day to protect yourself and your family is nothing. We spend more than that on things that make nothing for us. And how many people can you have on your account to have covered, or do you? Pay Great question. So let me. Be not shock you here, but <laughs> you can have only one adult per per contract. Uh, but you can have up to ten children on the family plan. I'm not telling you to go out and have ten children because it's not one of my goals either. But I will, say, <laughs> but I will say this: you know, we have nieces and nephews, grandchildren, and we can, as long as we have their information and their parents' permission, we can add them on. So, for instance, my children, they all have their own identity theft protection but their children are all on mine. And I want to tell you, it only costs $6 more a month. So for $6, I'm protecting all my nieces, my nephews, and my grandchildren. And so if it's a husband wife, you have to have two? Yes. Is you can't blend two people's identities. That's making a bigger mess than anybody who steals your identity can make. Okay. And anyone in the financial world knows that that can happen. Thank you. Great question, Lisa. Anybody else? Well, guys, I'm honored that I was on today and that you guys actually took interest in what I had to say. It's always it's always a great feeling when people are listening to what you're saying and they're there and they're actually interested in what you're saying. So thank you so much.
Dennis, thank you so much for the opportunity. I, I love being on this group and I know that we need to do some one-to-ones people. Let's set them up. My phone number is right there on the screen. Text me. I promise you I'll answer. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks everybody. So again, we'll we'll meet again next week. There is nothing on uh, Thursday tomorrow. Uh, we've canceled that event, and um, feel free to reach out. But everyone, big thing: catch up on your karma. You know, get out there and uh, and and do those posts for each other. And then we're we're gonna our next step is gonna be evolving, pushing out more of our social posts. We do have um, a new back engine 